I can't show you the interface for prayer. Uh, I will just read from my book before we start. I will read seven realities. Avtar Mehar Baba Ki Jai. The seven realities, existence, love, sacrifice, renunciation, knowledge, control and surrender. I give no importance to creed, dogma, caste or the performance of religious ceremonies and rites, but to the understanding of the following. The only real existence is that of one and only God who is the self in every finite self. The only real love is the love for this infinity God, which arouses an intense longing to see, know and become one with its with God. The only real sacrifice is that in which in pursuance of this love, all things, body, mind, position, welfare, and even life itself are sacrificed. The only real renunciation is that which abandons even in the midst of worldly duties, all selfish thoughts and desires. The only real knowledge is the knowledge that God is the inner dweller in good people and in so-called bad in saint and in so-called sinner. <clears throat> this knowledge requires you to help all equally as circumstances demand without expectation of reward. And when compelled to take part in a dispute, to act without the slightest trace of enmity or hatred, to try to make others happy with uh, brotherly or sisterly feeling for each one, and to harm no one in thought, word, or deed, not even those who harm you. The only real control is the discipline of the senses to abstain from indulgence in low desires, which alone ensures absolute purity of character. The only real surrender is that in which poise is undisturbed by any adverse circumstance, and the individual amidst every kind of hardship he is designed with perfect calm to the will of God. Avtar Mehar Baba Ki Jai. Uh, I hope my screen is visible. Uh, in the last uh, session, we had finished 28 sonnets of the book four uh, stay with uh, god so we'll start from the 29th and there was uh, one entry 33 in china similar to 33 in china if anyone has found any meaning for this we are not able to say link it with any literature till now Hello, are you there? Yes, we are there. Am I? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, 29, Sonnet 29. God made sense to look out. So, we looked out and up and down three dimensions and went out and shouted horizons. And now whizzing in bubble whizzing across and up and down bubble earth whizzing in bubble space of not. Saying breakfast in New York, lunch in Andes in the palace where the sun god kept 700 virgins. The sage sitting where he is travels everywhere, sees everything knows everything. What was that? That makes someone inside you jelly shake, doesn't it? Yogi stuff, hypnotism. Have a quick one out of a glass and in bed with a girl. That will make you feel better. Don't forget we live in the morning by the paradise flight. So this stands as Tries to 
put it in a single nutshell, what is the life going on as of now? So can anyone explain a few points here? Uh, I don't think there is no need for all that. Uh, any, any comments on this? Uh, the sage sitting where he is travels everywhere, seeing everything, knows everything. Any idea what uh, Francis is uh, hinting at? Yeah, Baba, I think that um, as an ordinary human being, you know, uh, basically he can fly around. Uh, let's say he's having breakfast in New York, uh, lunch in the Andes or whatever, like I had one, I had an experience when I was working in New York. Uh, when I was in Europe, I were had, uh, we were having this uh, IPO launch. We had to meet fund managers. So I had breakfast in Geneva, lunch in Paris, and dinner in Amsterdam. So that is for ordinary human beings. Whereas for a sage, for a self realized being, or even uh, the sages in the fourth, fifth, sixth plane, uh, they can stay wherever they are and they're able to manifest in any place they want to. Yeah. So uh, this is what my understanding is, just a comparison, that you don't have to go anywhere. The world is, with, is within you. And you can, if you imagine anything, if you're a sage, you can do whatever you want and you can be wherever you are. Jai Baba. Yes, that's what uh, I was thinking of. Okay, next one. We move out, we spread over the ground like locusts. Population increase bring hunger. We had to eat, but called it progress, called it culture. But there can be prayer before meat and thanksgiving after. And you don't have to kill your host and his wife and kids or put poison in their water hole. We moved out into the sun and became shut of sun. We built cathedrals in New York as earlier in Rome, or the god of no sun. We designed a Picasso to split the atom of line and color to excite our nerves. We compounded an Iliad to breathe an opiate to soften the shock. We invented an obey to amuse us by representing on the stage. Avtar Noah as a doddering old man and a fry to Vinny and gamble and trot off again with an eye. So there are so many comparisons uh, which are uh, almost nothing to me because I don't understand some of them. So it is a sort of a progress or a, a pseudo progress that uh, humanity is going through in duality, uh, thinking and uh, building things like that. So that's what is uh, projected here. Any other idea on this stanza? We spread our ground like locust. Population increase brings hunger. We had to eat, but called it progress called it culture, but there can be prayer before meat and thanksgiving after, and you don't have to kill your host and his wife and kids. So what is that is projected here? I don't understand. Or put poison in their water hole. Okay. Host, the host here is basically the earth that it looks like. As we okay. progressed and, you know, like the locust, we, uh, you know, Procreated and populated, which increased hunger and the whole physical aspects of the creation, you know, the Maya okay. uh, grew larger and larger. That's what I uh, get it from this. Yes. So that yeah. uh, it's about the uh, it's about the human civilization, as we know that when we evolved from the apes to become hunter gatherers and then uh, you know became agriculturists, the population increased. So naturally, population increase brings hunger, right? And that's what it's referring to. And then progress called it culture. 
you know, progresses like all these people trying to convert the Aborigines and the tribals in different parts of the world to like what we have seen the scandal in Australia and Canada with the Christian missionaries, you know, trying to convert people because they have to progress. And then, of course, uh, saying grace at the table, you know, at the dining table, before you eat your food, you do your prayer and then give thanksgiving and uh, put poison in their water hole, you know, something to do with the, I feel about the chemical industry, you know, how they have poisoned all our rivers in a way. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, and so on. Cathedrals in New York, yeah, building yeah. all the stuff. You know, Picasso painting, selling at multi-million dollars, and so on. And now we have opiates. You know, the yeah. pharmaceutical industry is selling all these prescription drugs, uh, which are basically opiates to get you addicted. And that is uh, part of the scene. And. Uh, I, the last line, I don't know about Avatar no, Noah is a doddering old man uh, and a fry to wine and gamble and trot off again with a knife. Uh, maybe, uh, as Baba always said that, I am the Avatar, you are also the Avatar. So probably every human being has the potential to have the qualities of an Avatar, but because of the sort of stings that we experience in the material, material world today with the environmental violence, the pandemics, the war, and so on. So we just get old and just trot off, you know, kind of thing like a horse, you know, like an old horse or something. So these are just metaphors and analogies to kind of express something that's going on in the world today. Jai Baba. Yes. Uh, and there is some reference here. Uh, oh, so one reference. Yeah, I just got lost. Let's see. Yeah. Number 31. And I Khan said, in India, the idea has always been towards music of a single instrument, suitable for a cave, a grass hut, or a temple, and a solo singer. In the West, they like an orchestra that can be heard through a park. <clears throat> and would wonder why a man who wants to show some devotion to God to make sounds well pleasing to him should need a hundred instruments and perhaps an organ uh, and two hundred men and women bawling and screaming at one another. One would suppose that he thought God was a long way off or had brass ears. One wonders why they want to play a piano faster and faster. Minute, minute waltz got down to 51.2 seconds and make notes run together to make colors and try and make them tell stories. And though there was no one, no more pigments and brushes or language with lovely words to use. So this one, uh, one way of uh, different types of, uh, say, trying to connect with God in our own, uh, say, ways. So in India, the idea has always been towards music of a single instrument. So this is contrasting with the Western, uh, say, church uh, music where a large group will assemble with all instruments and then sing together and all that. So is it actually necessary to connect to God? That is what the yeah. question raised here. Ba so. Basically, in the in the quest to realize himself, man, this is actually explaining the quest of uh, man to explore himself, actually, who I am yeah. and what I'm doing here. So the all the, you know, he is creating himself through music, uh, through art, uh, through various other things, you know. Yeah. So. That, uh, these are kind of uh, mediums through which he is trying to explore. Maybe he doesn't know what he is trying to do, but this is what is intrinsically coming out of him, actually. Expand himself. Yes, yes. Uh, Jai Baba, I think um, that first line, I, Khan, uh, I yes, think yes. he's referring to probably Inayat Khan. 
because Inayat Khan was the founder of Sufism oriented. Okay, he was the one who introduced to Sufism to the West. And Inayat Khan, if you read the Wikipedia description, which you should do definitely, he was a master of 50 plus instruments. He could play different kinds of instruments and he was very good. Baba said he was like a fifth plane saint. So that today what we have, the Sufism reoriented, is actually started by Inayat Khan, who started this in the 1900s. And he, his uh, next Murshid that he appointed was this Murshida Martin, who recognized Baba in the 1940s after hearing to Narina Machmili and Elizabeth Patterson that Baba is the, you know, the one they should follow. And unfortunately, before she could meet him, she passed away. And by the time she had appointed Ivy Deuce as the new Murshida, who then came to India in the 1940s with her daughter Charmaine to meet Baba. And then, as you know, the story unfolds. And then, of course, as a uh, 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 friend said about uh, the other music, yeah, one side you have the Western choir, you know, big orchestra. Oh, okay. And, you know, in the church choir, there are many singers, you know, male and female voices. So you're just making a comparison between that music, whether you play with one instrument, you know, you have the same sound that you can get rather than having so many people screaming and singing. Uh, which we call in American music, black music, gospel music, especially in black churches, actually. So, uh, but ultimately we know everything is in silence. And that is what Baba uh, meant, you know, showed us through his silence that, as they say, between two words, there is that silence in which we can capture it every moment. Then you're done, you know. Jai Baba. Yes. And Master Kung said that a man ought to spend most of his time studying poetry and music and divine manner and being very quiet inside himself. And Lord Say advised him, do it in yourself, Kung, and don't try and teach other men. If you try to be some use in the world, you burden the people with your own insufficiency. Nice quote. If you try to be some use in the world, you burden the people with your own insufficiency. And Jesus pointed out that usefulness of Solomon's public copies was inferior to the uselessness of flowers. And Moses had much the same idea, reusefulness. When he said to God, don't pick on me as a worker. And Junayat wouldn't budge neither for Sari nor the other sheikhs, nor the people's entreaties. The prophet himself had to order him. And also John, who wrote lovely verses, preferred wandering around the Adults are through the olive groves talking with God. So here are a lot of uh, examples of uh, so many uh, historical characters who had their own way of connecting to God. And uh, this catchy line, if you try to be some use in the world, you burden the people with your own insufficiency. So don't uh, say, put things on others. So you chart your own path in the spiritual uh, way so that uh, you can reach. Maybe that is the summary here. Any other inputs on this? That one just doesn't need to go proselytize. One can keep to himself and try to self-actualize rather than having to go out and keep talking all the time. So this is kind of, uh, uh, you know, reminder to all of us that, yes, Baba said, take my name to the ear, but I will take it from the ear to the heart. So even if you say one line that Mayor Baba is our guru or, our, you know, the one we... Uh, follow his teachings, uh, 
uh, that's probably good enough rather than having to go through the whole history of Baba and how he did this and that because today the net has everything. So you just yeah. direct people to that source, you know, which is what I do. I send them to the Baba's messages and the Baba trust. And after that, it's up to them whether they want to read it and then move forward or, you know, Baba will take care of business, you know, Jai Baba. Yes, yes, yes. We moved out foot slogging it to ready, uh, receding horizons and began bubble whizzing, dreaming of and Aphrodite making a damn fool of herself, going to bed with airy airs because the fans, the fastest, threw strong bands around them and the other gods witted the joke of it. Even Zeus probably on a side. And she was well wishing to be free of the blusterer's embrace. And Athens, virgin born, virgin who loved heroes and lovely speech, was forwarding Odysseus on the path of fortune and feeling the soul of blind Demodocus with lovely art touching his eyes with her wand and giving him clear seeing and winged words, opinions on the souls of men desiring new news of God. I don't make any sense of it because I don't have the background of the, all this literature which he is quoting. I think this is all Greek mythology and uh, yeah. all the characters here which of course even I am not very familiar with. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so uh, I, again a metaphor for uh, the spiritual path and the material world, you know, the material path and the yeah. spiritual path. But one thing that uh, jumped to me was the last four lines, feeding the soul of blind Demodocus with lovely art, touching his eyes with her wand and giving him clear seeing and winged words, opinions to the souls of men desiring news of God. There was one Baba lover who probably Dr. Ravi can, uh, I forget his name right now. A lot of the paintings that you see in the Mandari Hall in uh, Mehrabad, uh, the MPC, Mayor Baba Pilgrim Center, not MPR, Mayor Baba Pilgrim Center. Uh, I think the last name is Loyot, I think, L Y O T T. He was actually yeah, Lyot, blind, but he was. Lyot. Right. Yeah, Lyot. So, yeah. right. So, he was able to paint Baba, you know, even though his he was last blind. name is Art. Art, O T T. Art, O T T, mm. right. So, this particular line kind of reminded me of that, you know. Jai Baba. Correct, correct. or something, L Y M something. Yeah, I've seen him. Yeah, yeah, correct. I've seen him once, yeah. At the Samadhi. Yeah, Jai Baba. Lin Art. His name is Lin Art. And uh, I happen to have some contact with his wife. She's a little crazy person. She's also a painter. She now lives in uh, Myrtle Beach. She's a painter. She met Baba. A uh, little eccentric, I feel. <laughs> okay. okay. After Muhammad. So, Lynn Otis. Lynn. Sorry. Uh, uh, so, Ravi, Lynn Otis no more, right? He's dropped. Yeah, he body. passed away. He used to live in uh, uh, Metal Beach. He got sick actually in Mehrabad and uh, he wanted to rush back to US. He wants to die in US. So they, they somehow brought him back and uh, he passed away. He's actually blind. Uh, he's totally, bl not totally blind, but he can see a small, very small area. So with that sight, he painted all these things. Blind man. Yes, maybe he was blind to the world and his focus was only on Baba with a small Yeah, area. with a small area he could focus and yes. see. 
That's how he yeah. painted big paint, a lot of paintings he did. <clears throat> okay, nice anecdote. Yes. You know, okay. I was. Uh, oh, Mawaji. Uh, ah. Go ahead. I, I think you can see the Lord with your inner eyes. Yes. Ashok, where is the joy? Nice I, I joined a little, little while ago, but I was just okay, listening okay. to all of you. I was okay. listening to Kama, you, and uh, Ravi, Sunil, uh, Sunil, Le, Sanjay. Uh, and uh, and just one more thought I wanted to share with is that uh, Baba has also, uh, you know, mentioned about silence. And then he says that real things are given and received in silence. And mm. you don't need to make uh, an orchestra or music or 200 people plus. You just need to connect with him and you can do that even solo or silently. Yeah. Solo is always silence. So you would need to. I mean, so solo means there's solo musicians and. Yes, yes. Whatever. No, you. When I, uh, uh, say solo artist makes a noise uh, it is most probably to the others in front of him but uh, <laughs> if he wants to connect it is silence that's all uh, yes. yeah you know i just remember when kama was mentioning uh, about it's up to us to take baba's word to the ear and it is baba's responsibility to take from ear to heart when he was taking that, I remembered uh, one interesting incident that happened for me. Uh, then the, it was late, I think early 90s, I think. Uh, I was in uh, Meherabad and there was no Meher uh, MPR. There was Pilgrim Center in the lower Meherabad. That's where we used to stay. Once I was uh, outside talking to somebody and one young girl out of blue came to us and came to know she told me some she told me some story about i heard about meher baba i'm very much interested and who is meher baba and then uh, then i started uh, talking about his history and all the stuff and i started then there was one gentleman by, by name jagannath He's actually Tamilian, but he lived in uh, Vijayawada for many years. He used to meet Baba and all that stuff. He came, he was sitting somewhere there in that veranda. He came and said, uh, uh, Ravi Garu, uh, let us do one thing. And uh, I said, okay, uh, go to the tomb. And there is Baba's tomb and uh, bow down to the tomb. Uh, that's what he said cutting off my talk, you know. I yeah. thought that's a great idea. And then that lady left to walk towards the tomb and he told me, uh, it's up to us to tell uh, about Meher Baba, but he's the one. Since she's already came here, all she has to do is go there and he will take care of uh, his love towards uh, that lady, you know. I thought that was an interesting uh, experience I had. I just remembered yes, yes. that story. <laughs> yeah, Jai Baba. Yeah. Jai Baba. I think that's a very, very, very good point you made. I mean, that when you are there right near the Samadhi, mm. that would be the right thing to do. Yes. Right thing to do, yeah, right. Okay. After Muhammad, our training over the earth, Seas of flowers, uh, troubadours, the friends of God, Mohammedan and Christian, the flower and the little flowers, uh, Assisi calling him Jesus, Dante writing love poems to him, calling him Betris, but bad luck wandering off into a hell and heaven of self image, imagining. Uh, Rather than as Majnu following his Laila to the grace of his feet, there certainly know how the sculpt said Hui Neng. 
but yet don't know a damn thing about Zen. Mama denied and the false theology of the sun. Soon after this, the line of the saints coming to an end. After this, men could only get themselves out of the bay occasionally. Only sometimes could art show her pure form to men's eyes. And men make purely offerings, likeness in likeness of the creativity of God. Yes, it's a, once again a progress of uh, grandeur attached to all of our, uh, uh, say, connect to God uh, and then falling into a sort of rituals. And ultimately, it is only the pure offerings of likeness in likeness of the creativity of God. So there is a lot to explain here. Those who know the background can tell about this. So he has brought in Christianity, Zen, everything. Any comment? So Jay Baba, yeah, uh, I think uh, what I can say is that uh, he is really talking about uh, Prophet uh, Jesus and Muhammad. And uh, what you're seeing is, of course, Dante, you know, who wrote that uh, great poem. Uh, I forget the name. Uh, what is it called? The Divine. Um, um, somebody can help me on that. Laila Majnu is all about love. We know that. And I think that what it reminds me is that uh, we have uh, uh, the saints, like if you take Nyaneshwar, Tukaram, Eknath Maharaj, uh, the lineage of the perfect masters of the the Maharashtra Pandarpur tradition. Uh, we can also look at the Alvars and the uh, you know the Shaivite and the Vaishnava saints in Tamil Nadu, where Nine we had the Mars. Bhakti Nine movement. Mars. Okay. Nine Mars. And then you had Lord Chaitanya in uh, Lord Chaitanya in uh, this thing. So I think. We saw so many different saints coming now, let's say between Muhammad and uh, between Jesus and Muhammad and Muhammad and now probably Baba. But then as we also saw, there has been a lot of false theology of the sun, which I think refers to Christianity, uh, you know, where the essence of Christ consciousness is lost and they are fighting the, the Russian Orthodox, the Greek Orthodox, the Catholic Protestants and so on. Muhammad denied is again going against the Sufi aspect and you have the Sunni, Shiite, Wahhabis and so on and so forth. So uh, so I think it's just a kind of a description of what has happened in the last 2000 years. And uh, we are just making offerings and trying to do puja and all this stuff, you know, right? Trying to do it in our own way without really understanding the nitty gritties of the spiritual path. Jai Baba. Yes. Yes. yes uh, 35. With Dante and Co, the rot set in, love still there, but delusion of self-doing creeping in, not lover lost in liniments of beloved, the characterization instead of attributes of God began by Euripides, who came after uh, Aeschylus and Homer the Pure. The practice of writing is, Mr. Bacon said, to make one an exact man. The Pandava br brother's guru. Don't shoot until you can see the target. The scholar Kumar Swami said to imprison fire against senility. We define it a burnt offering insistent on present altar. Since Dante and company, we have been doing it ever, ever since. Seriousness of immature craftsmen to each other children playing prophets 
I saw, I saw past tense. I feel artist as antennae of the race. No guru, no shishya. The wrong way round. Tongues before we were years. Sculpture without zen. So this is also once again uh, alluding to all different types of uh, maybe uh, false acclaimed gurus uh, projecting so many different things on their own. Yes, any, uh, there are a lot of uh, references here. Uh, any idea from others? One thing for sure, I know Kumaraswami, Kumaraswami, ah, I think. <laughs> yes, ah. <laughs> Kumaraswami, that is Kumaraswami, Kum yes, Kumaraswami. scholar. Uh, so this is uh, moving in tangents uh, when it comes to connect with, uh, say, the essence. So each one thinks, uh, what he uh, what he prefers to be the best way and in the moment they lose the uh, say uh, the target and then uh, more give more importance to the ways and means of doing it in their own way uh, that is what is happening all around with rituals correct 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 this is what it ultimately is saying Yes, this is yes. the way this is the way everybody shows a different path to the same destination so it looks to be so different from each other so, all the uh, spiritual uh, if i may use the word the chaos that is getting generated mm -hmm. okay since dante and chaucer a handful of work from shakespeare Subtracting what he said from what he was paid to say. From Burns, a posse from Bimbard, a sentence in search of a master. From Nersche and Whitman, two pages each, one for themselves, one for God. Bloch and Mayankowski, two voices looking for a piano. piano. Lorca, a guitar seeking two lips behind a fan of olive trees. From Singe to Okasi and James Weldon Johnson, each three flowers, one for each of the Trinity, from Gabriela Mistral. Five candles lit on platter of Arti, from Pound Harmony on a lute played with a Rifle trigger and sometimes almost making music from Charles Chaplin, a rose growing out of a violin. The rest yoking words into yarns and snapping them with damp fingers. So this also uh, say sort of uh, uh, people trying to make uh, their own way of looking at uh, the destiny yeah, and then getting lost in doing so many uh, things uh, in the uh, meantime. So each one uh, trying to do a sort of a uh, different way of uh, praying to God. So he has listed so many varieties as they have come up. Uh, so all these are once again uh, referring to the rituals than to the actual essence of it. Uh, since the lovely unison singers from Palestrina, some nectarines picked and, and dawn and eaten in the cathedral, in place of bread which had gone dry from Victoria, a bunch of muscatel grapes at dusk with the bloom on them. Toffee and Dupre, each a choir of young boys from Monteverdi, 
a crystal cup holding a drop of blood turning to wine from purcell a golden note on a silver plate back a shaft of textured light humming sunward from beethoven after he had vociferated himself into some silence 14 pieces of good old men stock from mozart also good old men stock subtracting what he said from what from bellini three flowers tied with garlic from lis five lights for an rp from villa lobos or oscar singing from bartuk sound of clear water towards morning the rest swelling sentimental violence sentimental violence so these are also a list of so many uh, different ways which are practiced all over the globe uh, over a period uh, new things uh, of uh, doing uh, the sort of puja or devotion to god in their own ways losing the essence probably since the iconography of real and manuscripts and the wood and stone carving from soseta a wall and meeting of two saints from Timabu, a portrait of Saint Francis, how he might have looked. A stupa at Assisi and another at Padua from Giotto. And Tra Angelico, a voice from a clear sky. From Bembling, a clear sky singing in a woman's holding. A tiny Jesus from Piero della Francesca. a ray of sunlight and violets on the crib of govinda bambino bambino mm. from el greco hope that believed it was color from blake two portraits of christ one about jesus from cesane and brecke a few areas of definition to take the place of sentimental windows from joan gris and chagall a violin and a white pony each carrying a rider the rest mud up to the hawks painting their eyelids pink and green so he is making a, such a long list of so many different ways uh, uh, people have tried to relate themselves to god and lost themselves in this relationship uh, by way of the uh, art and methods of uh, uh, worshiping but uh, losing the essence of it i may be wrong here uh, those who know me clearly uh, enunciate what uh, francis is trying to say Forty nine, surely a niggardly total. Five drops of milk stained out of five million buckets of blood. The night, the night, strong steel and hard concrete, and our hearts, deserts of spent foam, a wind and a rain of fire. Divine Jesus, divine Jesus, I grieve not for you. our insolence is only one of the lesser jewels surrounding the central jewel of your crucifixion though of god and god creator of, of universes i grieve because of you of krishna and the krishna of you and the sameness of your sword and the bow of rama and the two eyes of the living one which have looked at me and the insolence of my still being but by god he has made promises for the fulfillment of which i will follow him in each next of his births and stand silently before him awaiting the sword's lightning 
of his word. Yes, I will reread this because he is summarizing after all that uh, uh, listing out of so many things. Surely a niggardly total. What all was said before is surely a niggardly total. Five drops of milk trained out of five million buckets of blood. So I don't know what he is uh, meaning here. Uh, the night, the night, strong steel and hard concrete and our hearts, deserts of spent foam, a wind uh, and a rain of fire. Divine Jesus, divine Jesus, I grieve not for you. Our insolence is only one of the lesser jewels surrounding the central jewel of your crucifixation. Though of God and God, creator of universes. From here on, he is uh, shifting gears. I grieve because of you of Krishna and the Krishna of you and the sameness of your sword and the bow of Rama and the two eyes of the living one which have looked at me and the insolence of my still being. But by God, he has made promises for the fulfillment of which I will follow him in each next of his births and stand silently before him, awaiting the sword's lightning of his word. So Baba has said that uh, my silence will end and I will speak. So that he is referring to here and all the different avatars. And Francis says that he wants to be there uh, at the time of each avatar and stand silently before him, awaiting the source lightning of his word. Okay. Surely, surely a niggardly total. Once again, he is uh, referring to that. Art dead if it had not remained living in the hearts of God's saints. Elsewhere in rag bundles by the roadside. In bazaars and jungles. God's darlings awaited God's fear. Arrival of Baba. Night of our dreaming of 400 years of fiddle puddling. In pigments and notes and words of attitudinization, adventuring uh, mightily in far journeying and host conquered, the holy war not even begun, the plains of glory untouched by our feet, Baba, day though our turning and surrenderance and profitable obedience, though axis about whom, though axis about whom, turned universes and our pitiable aspiration. I think uh, this is quite clear. Uh, I'll read it once again. Surely a niggardly total of what he had listed earlier, art dead. If it had not remained living in the hearts of God's saints, elsewhere in rag bundles by the roadside in bazaars and jungles, God's darlings awaiting God's here, arrival of Baba, night of our dreaming of 400 years of fiddle pudding, puddling. So this 400 years refers to what clearly I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, I'm not clear about that. In pigments and notes and words of attitude, attitudinization, adventuring mightily in far journeying and host conquered, the holy war not even begun, the plains of glory untouched by our feet. Baba, be though our turning and surrenderance and profitable obedience, though thou axis about whom turn universes and our pitiable aspiration. Any explanation on this by anyone? Sanjay ji? We are talking about Baba's birth. 
is yes. coming into the form. And 400 years, uh, now it is 1400 years, but 400 years, maybe Baba has said that before I come, there is a mini avatar, uh, which he has indicated Shivaji. That is 400 years back, 16th century. So maybe that, that is, I'm just uh, okay. guessing, guessing. Yeah. Guessing, okay. 17th century, isn't it? He was in 1640 or something like that, Shivaji. Yeah, 1640, so 400 years. Seven, seven, uh, maybe 200 years, difference. 200 years. Yeah. 16, 200, 300, okay, 300, okay. 300 years, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And the other, uh, this line, Heart of God's Saints, elsewhere in rack bundles by the roadside, in bazaars and jungles. So this may be referring to all the masks and uh, saints who are uh, uh, not in the glory of a lot of art and other things, but they are uh, always uh, uh, say in the correct, uh, correct, correct, correct. remembrance of God. Yeah. And they totally saints. devoid yeah. of all the dualistic uh, aspirations. God's darlings awaiting God's here arrival. So ah. they are they are they are God's darlings. Baba has said this ah. also. Yes, yes. Well, <laughs> master and said, those I, who are I in come the to place. earth uh, for them I come. <laughs> yes. Yes. So they are his darlings, yes. Yes. Uh, oh, we are uh, reaching uh, we are at the end of the uh, Part one of the book five uh, of sonnets. So it ends with a uh, movement towards the uh, foot of Baba. So we'll start with part two. The seasons are slow for men, but swift for God. Brought drag of flesh chains on spirit, wings of Zeus eagle, motionless in the Empyrean, illustrated by the story of the disciple sent to fetch water from river. There he met a woman, forgot about water, married her, acquired much money and acquired children, lost the lot lost the lot the lot and her set out again upon the pilgrim road and came to his guru's door freshly suppliant twelve years in his time had passed half an hour is a long time to spend getting a bucket of water and not bringing it back guru the guru commented broad drag of flesh chains while above monastery by eternal Kailas circles the divine swan without moment in mirror gazing. Can anyone tell what is the story told here? Uh, in Bhagavata, if I am not wrong, I think there is a story of Narada uh, being uh, uh, summoned to do this. Uh, getting water from river and he goes and the goes through the ha huh, goes through the whole yeah, where, life chain uh, where, then, where he is narrating the maya hmm. uh Tiraj tells the master tells that uh, for him to get a bucket of water and he ah. gets involved into all this you know yes. and so that's what it is i think there is thing too yes, sir. Yeah, he is basically uh, survives by begging. And then uh, he has just a langoti, as we call. And yeah. then people tell him that, why don't you, you know, all these langotis are eaten by rats. So why don't you have a cat so that the rats don't eat a langoti? And then he gets attacked, a uh, cat, and then they say, the cat needs the meat, so why don't you have a cow? And then yes, there is a yes, yes. grassland, all that, you know, that story uh, Erech has very beautifully narrated. So it's similar ah. to that. And when the master returns, he finds that that little Jhopri, his mm -hmm. disciple was living, is like become like a, you know, 
a big uh-huh. mansion and there are so many people around and all that so that's the game of maya similar to that i think yes sir and that uh, this actually is the story of uh, narada i think uh, it is the same line what is told in bhagavata also okay the guru commented draw drag of flesh chains while above manasarovar by eternal kailas circles the divine swan without moment in mirror gazing without moment in mirror gazing nothing ever happens happening is dreaming for instance as mehar baba said one day during the sahwas here you are all sitting in this hall thinking that you are being here in real but i assure you you are not only you are only dreaming it say tonight when you go to sleep you are dreaming that you are sitting here and someone comes in in your dream and tells you you are only dreaming you will reply i am not dreaming i am actually experiencing sitting here listening to baba's discourse with all the others around me but in the morning you will awake and remember it as a dream so i tell you that one day you will clear you are really awake and, and know for certain that everything you have done was only a dreaming i am the ancient one so he, so is each one of you but whereas i have awakened you are still held in your dreams so the waking moments in duality is actually a dream that is what is the essence of uh, this so he has quoted clearly what baba has said in one of the sahwas nothing ever happens happening is dreaming for instance as mehar baba said one day during the sahwas here you are all sitting in this hall thinking that you being here is real but i assure you you are only dreaming it say tonight when you go to sleep you are dreaming that you are sitting here and someone comes in in your dream and tells you you are only dreaming you will reply i am not dreaming i am actually experiencing sitting here listening to baba's discourse with all others around me but in the morning you will awake and remember it as a dream so i tell you that one day you will really awaken and know for certain that everything you have done was only a dreaming i am the ancient one so is each one of you that is a very clear sentence i am the ancient one and so each one of you but whereas i have awakened you are still held in your dreams a nice passage you know uh, may i interject here yes i remember long time ago i think it was uh, urich who told the story in the mandali hall i vaguely remember it was not uh, narada it was buddha and his uh, what is his uh, d- main disciples name uh, i forgot the name buddha and his uh, sang sang sangama anyway buddha and his disciple are walking to a village and it was hot and uh, they are uh, taking rest under a tree and uh, the disciple asks buddha uh, what is uh, maya and buddha does not answer anything and he says uh, i need i am thirsty can you get me some water and uh, he immediately goes and uh, there is a distant place there is one house there and there is some fields there and uh, he goes and knocks on the goes to the hut and knocks on the door and when the door was open there was a beautiful uh, enchanting uh, girl young girl of the same age and uh, he asked for some uh, water 
and then he was completely mesmerized by her beauty. And uh, she said, uh, it looks like you're hungry. Uh, if you can wait for some time, my father is working in the, far, uh, in the fields. He is coming any minute and uh, I can give you food also. And uh, he waits, uh, thinking it's an opportunity to spend more time with her. And very soon father comes and to father and him, she serves food and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the water. And he was completely, you know, involved in eating and then drinking. And then uh, father says, uh, I have to go to the field again. Would you mind coming and helping me? He agrees because he thought he can have another chance to come back and meet uh, the girl. So he goes and helps and comes back and uh, she gives the food again. And, uh, and she's, he starts spending time there. And uh, days passes by. And the father asks, can you marry my daughter? He, he, he agrees immediately. He marries her and the father dies and they are leading life. They have children. And uh, suddenly it's on the bank of river. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, but uh, that Narada story, I will fish out and... Uh... So, properly, it is also sorry? true. But that and, uh, they go onto the uh, tree. They go onto the tree, and then the flood becomes so much that he was holding his wife and children so much. Finally, he could not uh, hold anybody, and he had to let his uh, children go, and they wash away. And finally, his wife also washes away. And he suddenly wakes up and Buddha was there. And then that was just a dream. They were just taking rest and uh, it is in the dream. And Buddha says, that is Maya. That is the illusion. Nirvana and Maya. That's what he explained. Something about Nirvana and Maya. I thought that is the story of uh, getting water. Yes. Okay. Jebab. Hey, Baba. So this uh, uh, happening is dreaming. Nothing ever happens. Happening is dreaming. That's the crux of it. So we are all uh, in dreaming, asking Baba's grace for awakening. Mama said, it is incumbent upon every believer to acquire knowledge. How much and of what, according to Ali B. Uthman al Jalabi al Pujwiri, sufficient of the world to earn one's living and support a family. Knowledge is immense and life is short. Time is precious. Don't filter it away, picking up bits of information about this and that, but use it to find truth. Anas B. Malik said, the wise aspire to know, the foolish to relate. The wise aspire to know, the foolish to relate. Muhammad said, the devotee without divinity is like a donkey turning a mill. Hatim al Asma said, I have chosen four things to know. The rest have discarded. That my daily bread is a portion to me, so I don't strive to argument with it. That I owe God a debt which no one else can pay. That one death pursues me, and I have prepared myself against the day when he catches up with me. That God is observing me and I am ashamed to do what I ought to, ought not. What I ought not. I think here, uh, 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 different uh, ideas uh, given by different people at different time spans, I think, and especially Mahmudan uh, Ideas. The first one is uh, it is incumbent upon every believer to acquire knowledge. But what knowledge is the question here? 
and one of them uh, ujviri uh, al jalabi al ujviri say sufficient of the world to earn one's living and support a family so that is totally materialistic uh, way of looking at it another says the wise aspire to know the foolish to relate so wise aspire to know that is knowledge in completion whereas the foolish related to the day to day affairs or the world or things like that so they know more they try to uh, say uh, do their knowing only for for the dual world so as in uh, what is happening uh, in science and uh, other things where we try to improve ourselves in duality for more and more and more and more comfort mohammed said the devotee without divinity is like a donkey turning a mill i have chosen four things to know it is told by hatim al asman the rest have discarded that my daily bread is a portion to me i think that is number 1 so i don't strive to argument with it argument it that i owe god a debt which no one else can pay that one pursues me and i have prepared myself against the day when he catches up with me that god is observing me and i am ashamed to do what i ought to ought not Shame to do what I ought not, what I should not, uh, things like that. I think. So, any idea on this? So, he is uh, developing on what is the different types of uh, uh, asking with God. No comments. Okay. sufficient knowledge of the world to earn a living and to buy three books the bible at this time it is called god speaks the book uh, god speaks book of life of saints a book of living verse to buy musical instrument and prize of some lessons from a master of it sufficient knowledge of who and what one is in order to live as a human being amidst people in order not to be wholly a user and a hypocrite in order to begin to long for other than what one is that is self or god sufficient knowledge of the state of god see god speaks in order to appreciate and absolute necessity of a master the absolute necessity of a master and enough wit to find him and enough gumption to obey him implicitly once one has found him all extra knowledge is our toggles before you were as snows to keep you plodding up the nerve ending dusty road nerve ending never ending dusty road okay okay so this is a, what francis uh, gives as a prescription probably for us or others sufficient knowledge of the world to earn a living and to buy three books the bible what is that bible at this time it is called god speaks book of the lives of saints a book of living verse to buy musical instrument and to and the prize of some lessons from a master of it sufficient knowledge of who and what one is in order to live as a human being amidst people in order not to be wholly a user and a hypocrite in order to begin to long for other than what one needs that is self or god so long for other than what one needs that is the smaller yes self that is uh, you have to go beyond that to the self or god sufficient knowledge of the states of god see god speaks so states of god all this uh, process of evolution 
uh, to involution you have to learn about that in order to appreciate the absolute necessity of a master and enough wit to find him and enough gumption to obey him implicitly once one has found him all extra knowledge just are toggles before your asses nose to keep you plodding up the never ending dusty road so this is the prescription final prescription of what we should aspire for and here he has referred to three books what are these three books any idea he doesn't mention that uh what is he referring to the three books one is god speaks book of lives of saints which one is the book he is referring to or is he uh, making us think of uh, saints in general and try to know about the saints and all that? i think it is i think it is in, in general i think yeah. it is general yeah and a book of living verse that is to make a living what you have to do in the world so sufficient knowledge to make a living and then to learn about all the masters yeah. for, and then Messages. god Basically speaks what master is masters have written books for people books. to follow in their lives so that is a book of living verse and book of lives of saints is how the master has uh, his life okay. his life story yes. itself yeah that's it. Uh, well uh, re baba i think that uh, the lives of saints can be the five perfect masters which is in the lord meher that could be one example and on a comical note he is saying a book of living verse maybe he wants to sell this book you know got what we are reading right now living uh -huh. verse right yes yes that is also <laughs> Uh, yes, <laughs> it's also written here without mentioning. Yes, and uh, the last portion is uh, very nice. Sufficient knowledge of the states of God, uh, in order not to be wholly a user and a hypocrite, in order to begin a long, uh, begin to long for other than what one needs. that is self for god this line is uh, very uh, important here sufficient knowledge for the states of god see god speak in order to appreciate the absolute necessity of a master get convinced that there is the necessity of a master and enough to wit enough wit to find him and enough gumption to obey him implicitly once one has found him that is obedience is uh, most important all extra knowledge are toggles before your ass knows to keep you plodding up the never ending dusty road nice uh, stands up can we stop at this place uh, and then continue tomorrow because i have to uh, wind up and do something monday Yeah. Yes, Mama. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we have completed four uh, uh, sonnets in uh, part two of book five, and then we will continue tomorrow from sonnet five. I don't know how to make a mark here. Please remember this for tomorrow. I am back, so I remember sonnet five yeah. in part two. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I you can take that I at least listen to the last few minutes but then it was literally the last minute that I joined up joined for. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. okay. I hope everybody had a good read. I look forward to yeah. uh, seeing all of you tomorrow morning. And uh, we will also up. need to talk about the youth sahwas when we speak tomorrow. Jai Baba yeah. and everybody Jai Baba. Great, uh, Jai Baba. Bye bye. Have a great Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Hi Ashok, how are you? Ashok. I am yeah, I am fine. Yes, excellent. Kartik, you are in Bangalore? Jai Baba, Jai Baba. Yes, I am. Okay. Jai Baba. All right. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Okay. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. So uh,
everybody i will be in uh, karthik i will be in uh, boston okay from from second uh, did you meet any of the baba groups uh, anywhere new jersey boston no i am you go to i am going back archives? to new jersey on first i will be going to mehr baba archives i'll try to go okay okay please take an appointment they are not open all day weekends are surely open uh, just follow instructions on their website and uh, okay. uh, you can call and check nosh availability before going that's better yeah yeah definitely thanks yeah. so that thanks you, for the you will get a guided tour and uh, he'll he'll walk you around and it will be worth it yes and i i mean his wife me. mahrook mahrook kor nosh will be there but uh, it's better to go and meet nosh because nosh uh, uh, i mean he'll he'll walk you around and it, uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun when nosh is there so make a, a appointment and then go for one of the weekends ahead of time so maybe wednesday thursday you should call and schedule i think that you have figured out by now in the us everything is as per schedule which has to be done yes before. yes <laughs> yes yes nothing can uh, be done impromptu I think okay, the open on Thursdays, but yes. Oh, is it okay? So check yeah. check the website and then accordingly plan. Uh, yeah, subject to and, your and transport Karthi, availability. Any 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 deals in Boston also you can share with me. I don't know anybody in Boston also. in the Baba world. Yeah, sure. I will if something comes okay. up. I will. Jai Baba. Okay. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Jai Baba.